Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this two-part video, you should be able to calculate the volume of a gas from the mass and the relative formula mass. You should then be able to calculate the volumes of gases and chemical reactions, and both of these apply only to triple students. Lots of chemical reactions involve gases, and so far we've not really looked at these. Here's the first key fact that you need to learn. One mole of any gas occupies a volume of 24 decimeters cubed at room temperature and pressure. Room temperature is considered to be 20 degrees Celsius and room pressure is one atmosphere. Now we can use this fact to calculate the volume of a gas. We use this equation. The volume in decimeters cubed is the number of moles multiplied by 24. Here's a triangle for this equation if you prefer to use these. So let's take a look at using gas volumes. You need to be able to calculate the volume of a gas from the mass of a chemical and its relative formula mass. Here's a sample question. Calculate the volume of 112 grams of nitrogen gas N2. The relative formula mass of nitrogen gas is 28. First, we need to calculate the number of moles of nitrogen. To do this, we use this equation, which we've seen many times before. The number of moles is the mass divided by the relative formula mass. So the mass is 112 grams and the relative formula mass is 28. This tells us that we've got 4 moles of nitrogen. Now we can calculate the volume of this gas by going back to the previous equation. The volume is the number of moles multiplied by 24. So 4 multiplied by 24 gives us a final answer of 96 decimeters cubed. Here's one for you. Calculate the volume of 51 grams of ammonia. The relative formula mass of ammonia is 17. Pause the video and try this yourself. OK, we start by calculating the number of moles of ammonia. The number of moles is the mass divided by the relative formula mass. 51 divided by 17 tells us that we've got 3 moles of ammonia. Now we can calculate the volume. To do this, we multiply the number of moles by 24. 3 multiplied by 24 gives a final volume of 72 decimeters cubed, and that's our answer. Here's another example for you to try. Calculate the volume of 150 grams of ethane, and the relative formula mass of ethane is 30. Pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, first we calculate the number of moles of ethane by dividing the mass by the relative formula mass. So 150 divided by 30 tells us that we've got 5 moles of ethane. To calculate the volume, we multiply the number of moles by 24. 5 multiplied by 24 tells us that we've got 120 decimeters cubed of ethane in our sample, and that's our final answer. Remember, you'll find plenty more questions on calculating the volume of gases in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. In the next video, we're going to look at how to calculate the volumes of gases and chemical reactions. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to calculate the volume of a gas from the mass and the relative formula mass.